Hey people on YouTube, this is Roshan Productions on how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Well, solving a Rubik's Cube is pretty simple once you get an understanding of algorithms and terminology or turns and stuff. Alright, here, an algorithm just means a different turn and the turns used for this is six letters. F, which stands for front which stands for front meaning front in front of you the whole face U which means up which is the up face yes right which is the right face is R L which is the left face is left and last but not least B which is the back face which is back face lesson 2 on understanding how to solve a Rubik's Cube you must learn how algorithms work but in the last lesson, I told you that algorithms function in letters. But the letters, you have to turn those letters in a certain way. Like front. I'm just putting the Rubik's Cube in front of you so you can understand. This would be back to me, but it's front for you guys at home. Okay? When you see a letter just by itself in directions, front just means turning it clockwise 90 degrees. You see? Clockwise. 90 degrees. If you see an F with an apostrophe or a comma, whatever that thing is, you have to turn it 90 degrees counterclockwise. See? Counterclockwise. Then if there's a 2 right next to the letter, you turn it clockwise 180 degrees. I'll do it again. 180 degrees. And this is understanding algorithm. This is an important lesson on this is an important thing to remember when solving Rubik's Cube because you won't understand the directions if you don't have a good understanding of what algorithms are and how they're used. Lesson three on how to solve a Rubik's Cube. The Rubik's Cube comes in many different pieces. Has you see as each color has nine squares in the middle, which would equal fifty four in total, but forget that the thing that you need to remember is that the cube has three types of pieces. A centerpiece, corner, and edge. A centerpiece, like this one, in the middle, has only one color, red. Corner has piece has two colors. So you see? One, two, red, and yellow. And an edge piece has three colors. Red, blue, and yellow. And this you must understand this because if you do not understand what these types of pieces are, you'll probably get lost in the first two steps. Actually, you get lost in the beginning if you don't remember it. Alright, by now, you're probably getting tired of hearing me talk. So, let's begin. When solving a Rubik's Cube, there's seven steps that you should remember. The first step is getting a green cross. That may sound simple, but there's a special way you have to do this. Alright, let me do it real quick, so you can see what it looks like. Alright, this is a green cross. It should look something like this. And notice how each center piece and corner piece is matching with another center. You see that? It does this all around, and this is the first step. Well, doing this step, there really isn't no like determine algorithm so let me just give you a tip All right. let me tell you something there's one part of the cube that never moves it's the center part which only has one color as you see no matter what you do it's gonna stay in the same place on the cube okay when solving a cross you have to look for a corner which is the piece with the two colors and get it between the two centers green center an orange center, a green and orange piece. As you do this, just turn the cube around and get these pieces together. There really isn't algorithm, really any good algorithms for this because this part you can probably like easily learn by yourself because if you just play around with your Rubik's cube and try to get it like this, it'll actually become pretty easy to you. And you know, and don't think too hard about this because if you do, it's going to get extremely hard. And so remember, try to get it like this, where the corners and everything like this is matching. You see this? 
All right. All right. The next step into solving the Rubik's Cube is basically finishing the green side, as you see right here, and having the pieces go together like this. You see as all the colors are matching and notice how they're still matching with the centerpiece right there while having the edge pieces match right here. Basically when doing this part, remember how you did with the cross where you look for the center, the two center pieces and match the corner piece that had both colors in the right place? Well basically you do the same thing for this piece. Let me show you real quick. Look for the piece between the two corner pieces colors and the cor and the top color right here as you see this edge piece has the three colors that you need green red and yellow notice as I put it in and it matches with these three colors right here alright this is the same as step two because I you really can't explain this you can just like play around your cube and figure out different moves that work for you but I can show you two moves that can like help you out and give you a pretty good guide. Alright, here's a quick move, real quick. You want the piece right here, but the piece is over here. Alright, the first move that you do, have to keep in front of you. The first move is right inverted. Let me show you. Right inverted. Yeah. Then turn the cube back, you do down clockwise then you bring it right clockwise and put the cube back together as you notice if you didn't catch that part don't worry because you can check the help guide you can check the, the video description which has the algorithms also on it or you can ask those questions too alright let me show you another move real quick alright you have the piece in the right place but it's not matching let me show you a quick move. This move is a special move. It'll actually help you solve step seven too, but just wait. Stay with me. Alright, same as before. Right. Okay. You do this. Alright, see with me? Alright. Alright, now turn the cube down. Then right inverted. Then down. Then once again. Right inverted. Then down inverted. Then up. Look. Look, I'll do it again one more time for you guys. Alright. Alright, I'll do it slow for you guys. Watch. I'll do it in your view. Wait, sorry guys, I missed it. Alright. Notice as you do these moves. Sometimes you may have to repeat this step at least once or twice. And don't worry. Because it's going to come in eventually. But just remember, just play around with the cube. You'll get your own moves. This was how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Part 2 will include steps 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and also how to get better. And thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, really? You can stop watching now. I will.